The long-awaited report on an impeachment investigation into the activities of former Governor Andrew Cuomo has finally been released by the State Assembly Judiciary Committee. Channel 2's Ron Plants has some highlights from the report, along with reaction from the members of that panel and Cuomo's spokesman. The report for the Assembly Majority Committee cost $5 million, ironically about the same as former Governor Cuomo's COVID book deal, which we'll get into more so in a moment. 600,000 documents or other forms of records reviewed, 200 people interviewed or questioned in some form, and the result from one panel member? The report documents that Andrew Cuomo clearly abused his office for his own personal benefit. As compiled by a prominent New York City law firm, it basically corroborates the prior attorney general's report on sexual harassment, citing two primary examples involving a female state trooper and a female aide allegedly groped in the governor's mansion with the hostile work environment claim we've heard before. But this report focuses more so on the governor's $5.2 million book contract, and it maintains he was using staff members and other state officials to put it together on the state time and taxpayers' dime. Remember that this was at a time when we public officials were begging his other staff for assistance in helping our populations, our people, with the pandemic. Then on the nursing home deaths undercount. That the governor manipulated the, the information about the deaths of those who were living in nursing homes so that it looked like his strategy in dealing with the pandemic was actually working better. Cuomo's spokesman obviously firing back, calling the report assembly hype, hypocritical, and revisionist, especially on the point of the nursing home transmission claims and stating there were no deaths from Cuomo's March 25th, 2020 order placing sick patients back in facilities. In response, assembly member Abenanti just suggests this. I urge the public to read the report. When word gets out, I am sure more people will read this report than will read Andrew Cuomo's memoir. We have the full report on our WGRZ.com website. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.